Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Masterworks. My name is Jason Meyer, and this week we're focusing on the head, neck, and shoulders. So tonight we'll be looking through some master drawings and paintings and investigating their head, neck, and shoulder gestures and the structure of it all. Right, because we want to make things look and feel real. We want our drawings and our paintings to feel like they're solid heads, that there's weight to them, that that hair flows, all of that good stuff. So Shakti made it tonight. Good evening, Shakti. Hope you're well. Hope you are well. So why don't we see if we can call forth the iPad. and see what we can find here. There we go. So I'm gonna to try to go about the same way. Um, you know, eventually your inspiration, your idea, your technique is born out of your intent. Um, but it does help as you're getting started to look for certain things and get into certain patterns um, just so that there's a little structure and you're not floating all the way around but what do we have when we were looking for the gesture we decided we were gonna look for the middle of the chin okay. and we talked about going across the chin he's done something a little different here hasn't he he showed you the corner, but then he showed you the underplane. And then with the shadow, he's showing that divide. So there's little subtle ways to do this, and that'll be your own expression when you get there. But for our purposes, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go towards the bit, the pinch. Look how well this ribbon tracks. See that tracks, it makes you feel that forehead. We're gonna go around the back of the head. And then look, he did our line for us. It's already there. Somebody's been here before us. And you see how he just kicks it a little bit? That helps tell you the direction of the chest. Where would at the center Follow that. That brow ridge around. Again, when you're looking at clothing and hair, anything falling on top of or covering, you wanna show the tracking action of that. So that takes care of that front shoulder. So just the neck goes up. down that side. So let's see what we got. So you see when we're finished with with all of the masters how dynamic these gestures are? They're, they're very very dynamic. Sometimes it's hard to realize that because they look so natural. And that's why they're masterworks because they're very dynamic and very natural at the same time. Man, it's easy to say it. It's easy to say it, not so easy to do it. Okay, I love this because you've got a couple of stages here and what do you think he's doing here? Right? So this and that pretty much tracks, right? The head, the head, the shoulders, the shoulders, the chest, the chest. But he's experimenting with how he wants the kid looking. Right, do you see basically the bodies are more or less similar, it's just the heads. 
So, if it was good enough for Leonardo da Vinci, it should be good enough for us, huh? So, we track... How do we know this head's looking down? Look how far down those eyes are. Remember we talked about that? So, there's so much more up here. That helps point down. So, he's covered that front the back so if we go towards the pinch around the back to the pit of the neck How descriptive is that? Right? How descriptive is that? So, you know, really amazing. Tilting this way. So it'd come down here. Shoulder. You don't even see that shoulder back there, right? So we have to do this. How would we show that? Like that? And look where his eyes are. Up. Okay, and you can do it more than once, so Look how he stepped it up a notch. So let's start with the face. Well, no, let's start with the chest because look how he's wrapped the dress over the shoulder, around the chest, the rib cage, over the shoulder tracking. Okay, so that neck can fit into. We've got our chin around to the pinch stretch and then again do you see that line right there that helps again how do we know where she's looking because look at the eyes on the skull Pretty, I mean, I don't know. I, to this day, I still, this blows my mind. It really blows my mind. Look how effective that is. That's crazy. That's crazy. But it also goes to show you how good these guys are. Were, are, however we should phrase it. So just for anybody keeping count... I don't know how many shows now I've had this sitting right next to me and I'll be I don't know what eight minutes into the show it's our timer and I forgot to set it so I think I'm just gonna develop a natural instinct a natural instinct there's the pit of the neck let's go towards the pinch Around the back, down to the pit. And again, he's doing it with the cloth. Go towards the pinch around the back to the pit of the neck you guys see those little studies back there do you see that you even see that little fainted one they've been doing this for a long time this certainly did not come from me 
Certainly didn't come from me. Been doing it a very, very long time. Man, effective, effective, effective. Okay, so we've been at this, what is this, Wednesday night? A few days now. And so I'm hoping you guys are starting to see this and catch, because I think it is effective just to kind of go at it for a while. Just to go, go at it. Hey, Miss Sue made it. Hey, Miss Sue, nice to see ya. And Janny. Janny, Janny, Janny. So good to see you guys, catch up with you. So for anybody stopping in or just joining us, we're focusing on the head, neck, and shoulders and how the old masters Let's go towards the pinch, to the back of the neck, down towards the pit. So showed the neck there, showed the shoulders. But again, the cloth wrapping over around and back over you see that they call that tracking so the cloth is going to track the cloth will track over the body right so we want the cloth to say that they're there's this form underneath. The body's underneath. You want to tell them all about that. Fabric. Fabric's a whole nother thing. A whole nother thing. Right? You guys not getting tired of these, are you? I mean, come on. If you're an artist, how could you get tired of these? How could you get tired? Look how beautiful these are. Miss Claudia made it. Hello, Miss Claudia. Okay, so let's look at the middle of the chin. We'll get the tilt. The eyes. Let's show, go towards the pinch. Around the back. Down to the pit of the neck. Notice one more line here to help show that pinch. Got the middle of the chin. Pinching this way. Okay, hope I'm not going too fast. Hope I'm not going too fast. I'm going a little ahead of schedule, so I might take a little side trip here on this one. We'll see. We'll see. First, let's look how dynamic. Okay, so one of the reasons we do this is <clears throat> to know what's possible, to, so, to show how much we can do with how little. Okay, since we are running a little ahead of time, unusual for me, but since we are, let's take a minute and appreciate some of what's going on here. We've got this form here. And then the next thing we see 
is up here at the shoulder. So all of the information between those two points is inferred or is guessed because we don't see anything but fabric. But look how that fabric is doing the job of telling the story. Did you guys notice that beautiful rhythm before? I know my marks are a little big and clumsy, but ignore those big clumsy marks. Right? Not as even as mine, but there's a whole crescendo and a release. Even within the fabric. But it's all based on movement. So this fabric tells us about the circular arm. It tells us about the shoulder. It tells us about the chest. About this other arm. It falls down and tells us about his leg. And then it also tells us this leg is stretched out. So the masters with everything they did, not just the head, neck, and shoulders, but anything else, their marks were super efficient. Super efficient and very informative. In addition to in addition to being absolutely gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous so to have all of that stacked on top of each other oof 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 miss Cindy miss 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 Cindy I know that lady I know that lady all right what else we got here what else we got we got a few more we got a few more, right? Do you, how, how do you think they posed these flying angels to get these things done? Well, they didn't. They, they did these out of their imagination. Looking here, pinching the other way, so we'll come back there. And again, even as scratchy it is, do you see all the fabric falling going over right so where have we heard about these or, or seen that going over going over well do you remember when we do the size and placement we start by going across right well what if you started by feeling over is this more descriptive than that maybe so as you notice these things as you notice these things right you can start making marks and all the marks you make will go across around Right, you'll start feeling the things in three dimensions. Right, what's on top of what? What tucks into where? What pulls around? Right, the stretching, the pinching. Okay. In addition to that, there's a beautiful rhythm always. So we, we're not going too much into rhythm right now, but I want you to know that it's there. And that's one of the things that makes these so beautiful too. Are some of these even larger, even larger rhythms that we haven't talked about yet.
It's hard to believe that that's based on something like that. But it's based on that, but it's executed so much more beautifully than that. So the first part is we want to understand, but the second part is how can we execute it beautifully? So let's do a couple of things here. Let's do our little study. Let's do our study. Nothing little about our studies. Okay, so there's the face. Let's go toward the pinch, around to the back. And we've got the shoulder, 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 shoulder. Okay, so let's now look at how in particular he's done this. Okay, notice there's a There's the pinch on this side and the stretch on that side. So instead of lines from the pit of the neck, again, he's used the shirt or the top. You guys see that? Again, I know we're not talking about it yet, but I want you to bring, because again, even if you get these pieces right, even if you get these pieces right, without these beautiful rhythms flowing through here, we're still gonna be missing a few things, okay? So as you're looking at these connections, Especially as we're looking at these masterworks, keep noticing. I see is that tracking across, tracking across, tracking. Keep noticing how these ladies and gentlemen did it. How do they say three dimensional? How do they say three dimensional? Okay, it's, it's fun even just following their gestures. I mean, it's just all of it. So good. So good. Okay, this is a tough one here, right? She's pinching away. Something like that. And then again, we could track those shoulders. And, you know, if you just stumbled upon this system, it might not mean anything. But more and more, you're going to get to read the shorthand, right? And you'll develop your own kind of particular shorthand, right? It needs to be descriptive, but effective, effective, effective. It's not a bad portrait. It's not a bad portrait. Who's this chump? Who's this chump painting this stuff? Well, Rembrandt, of course. Rembrandt. Well, what do we got? Well, we got the bottom of the chin facing this way. Here's the top. There's the brow. Let's go towards the pinch. Around to the back. Well, I mean, you can't even see the old other shoulder because of that neck party he's got going on. That would be back there. That cast shadow from the head tracking over 
Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Cast shadows. So, so important. But look how even these folds, these zigzags, follow the form. Do you feel that? Right, so that you feel the three-dimensionality of these people, right? It's just not flat paint. Man, it's things happening. Things happening. Okay, guys, this is the last Masterworks for this week. Wednesday, tomorrow night, we'll have Sketch Club on Facebook. And this is going to be the last head, neck, and shoulders we look at tonight. Notice the apron. Again, talks about the volume. Wraps around. The sleeves wrap around. Look what the folds do. They wrap around. They wrap around. Pretty descriptive, pretty descriptive. Okay guys, so a quick bonus question. What do you think this is based on? What kind of design? If you look up there really quick, what do you see? I know it's a little curveball, but we gotta keep you loose. Keep you loose. Well, this is pretty simple. based on a diagonal, right? And then what happens along that diagonal? The dark invades the light side. All right? And then you have a little bit of light invading the dark side. Can you see that? It's just a large dark what if we make it down to a postage stamp? See that large diagonal straight across there? And it's interrupted. Okay. So even as you're seeing these particulars, you've got to remember there's a big design to everything. A big design. And the best paintings are usually relatively simple designs. Pretty, pretty simple. Keep it simple. Have you heard that before? All right, so what did you guys think about this week? We did this a little bit different, studying this. Was that helpful to you guys? Did you find it repetitive? Seen it a million times? So this whole month, we're going to be working on um, portraits. So um, we're going to go different things, but we may be doing this quite a bit, even as we get into color and things, because the foundation man without that foundation it's nothing but with the foundation with the foundation it doesn't take much all right so shakti likes it miss claudia is so supportive as always all right everybody well we're going to call this a night and then we will be back in the morning for morning jump start uh, we're going to do these exercises. We're going to take our turn drawing these from reference photos. So join us for that for the first 30 minutes at 8 a.m. right here on YouTube, Meyer Studio. And then at 8.30, we'll start looking at some student work. 
and uh, we'll talk about that and see what they're doing right and what they're doing, what's next to push it to the next level. Until then, for all information, check out jasonmeyer.com for our new online school and all of our other programs we got going on. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.